got to work today with some really terrible news. Bill and Ted, the two-headed bearded dragons that we got, unfortunately passed away today. I uh, was so bummed, but if you remember correctly, when I got these guys, I thought that there was little chance that they would actually survive. One leg is definitely off, so it's gonna have a little bit of a problem moving around, but again, at several months of age, to only be really just a little bigger than a baby, that's the issue that I think is the biggest problem, but my gosh, are they absolutely adorable. And listen, I was so encouraged when we got them, even though I thought that they didn't have a lot of chance. They were so rambunctious, they were eating and doing fantastic. Let's see what we got. Oh, there he goes! He actually is! Woohoo! This is Bill, and Ted is the other one there. So, again, Bill does all the eating right now. Ted hasn't been eating yet, so I don't know what's gonna happen. That is just amazing. Getting it to eat on tongs is such a huge thing for us. So, wow, that is amazing. Good job, Beth. You did Thank you. Job. And then about three days ago, they just lost all their energy. They just didn't seem like they wanted to do anything. That's when I knew that they were really in trouble because Baby Bearded Dragon already is gonna be really fragile when it's young. And that was the thing. This was actually eight months months old. It was only the size of the baby. That's the reason why I thought that there was little chance that they would actually survive. But I thought that we could give them the best opportunity possible to survive. And once they got here and they were doing well, I thought maybe this one is going to actually survive. But unfortunately, a few days ago when it started to just lose all its energy, lost interest in food, we were soaking it, giving it electrolytes, doing everything we could possibly do to try to bring it back. I just knew that it was just a matter of time. Am I bummed out? Of course I'm bummed out. I'm actually heartbroken. We didn't have these guys for too long but I really fell in love with them and I thought what if they actually did survive and got big and actually thrived it would have been amazing and honestly I started to get a little bit of false hope that that could potentially happen because Beth fell in love with these guys she babied them so much and honestly she's taking it way harder than anybody honestly they kind of took a turn kind of didn't want to eat or drink anymore so we've just really been watching I've been really vigilant kind of watching and getting worried and today ended his journey with us here at, at the reptarium and BHB but I loved him so much it, even though I only had him a couple weeks, I definitely fell in love with him. He did gain a couple ounces while he was here. He was doing great. Definitely left a huge imprint on my heart and I will definitely miss him. Rest in peace, Bill and Ted. Certainly this isn't ideal, guys. You know that I love my animals and I'm so bummed at the opportunity for not having these guys around, but I do want to preserve them just like I did Laverne and Shirley because again, at least I'll have something to remember them by. I gave them the best chance I could give them. I mean, there was just no other way we could have taken care of these guys. So I got to head to the store and get a mason jar and some supplies and I'll show you guys how we actually preserve these animals to keep them around forever. I think this is gonna work perfect. You always wanna use 70% because if you go higher than that, it'll actually deteriorate the skin. So this is gonna work perfect. Just gonna fill this up with the 70% alcohol. And this is where things do get a little bit sketchy. So I'm sorry in advance, but you've gotta preserve the animal, right? So you have to literally inject some of the alcohol into the body cavity so that it doesn't rot from the inside out. So hang in there with me guys, in case you ever need to preserve an animal, this is the way you do it. Once these guys are preserved here in the next couple weeks, you could always position them, you know, put a branch in there, something on that line. Again, guys, you know, I mean, you don't understand how I'm fighting back the emotions here. I mean, this really sucked. I really fell in love with these guys over the short period of time we have them. That being said, guys, I don't want the vlog to be a downer. We tried, we did our best, and obviously it didn't work out, and it sucks so, so bad. But I want to still have some fun stuff with this vlog. So we got the new white monitor. It's settled in now. Let's see if it wants to eat for us today. That'll bring my spirits up. There's no doubt about it. All right, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen here, guys. You know, it's only been a day or so since it's been here, but I'm gonna see if it wants to eat. Come on, buddy. Come on. Right now it shows a lot of interest, but it's still kind of settling in. I sure would be happy if it ate for us, but I'm not sure if it's going to. It doesn't look like it's gonna eat today. Again, it's only been a day and a half since it's been here, and right now it's just still settling in. We'll keep trying. It's a definitely a bummer. I would have definitely made my day a lot happier if this guy would have eaten. There's no doubt about that. That's the way things go. We gotta give it time. I know it'll settle in and start eating soon. I think I'm gonna do is leave these mice on a rock. Maybe he's just a little bit freaked out with me being in its enclosure. And maybe I'll just crawl up to him and eat him. So we'll check back in a little bit. Hey Mike, how are you? All right. You ready to do some feeding? 
Yeah, what are we feeding? Uh, we're feeding the Goliath bird eater. Shoot. Why? Why? Because it's going to eat. I don't have to feed it though. Why? You can feed it. No, I think it's you just going to be good. I know, but this is going to be amazing for you. We need a little bit of fun in this vlog. And I think you're the perfect person to bring it to us. I hate you guys. <laughs> Back at you guys again with our friends over at HelloFresh. By the way, thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Today we're going to make some citrus pork tacos. That's right. Oh, this is going to be good. HelloFresh's newest menu release includes Mediterranean recipes that are filled with fresh fruits and veggies, nuts, olive oils, and fiber-packed whole grains for nourishing balance. Treat yourself to Premium Picks, a changing collection of top-of-the-line recipes offered each week. With HelloFresh, step-by-step -step recipes are super easy easy to follow and pre-proportioned ingredients help me cut out prep time so I can have more time to go outside this spring. With HelloFresh it's easy to adjust your plan and increase your order size to help with meal planning for large groups or have leftovers for lunch the next day. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant. HelloFresh offers veggie, Presbyterian, and fit wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals. HelloFresh won't get in your way of a busy day. Stay on track with simple recipes and fresh pre portion ingredients and cut out meal prep and trips to the grocery store. HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all their packaging is recyclable. HelloFresh cuts down on your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. Go to HelloFresh.com and use promo code BRIANB16 for up to 16 free meals and 3 surprise gifts. And of course now my favorite part, oh does it smell good. Mm, mm, mm. I love you, HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my promo code BRIANB16. Get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Baloney. Dude, it's right there. Like, why can't he just drop in the room? This is stupid. Why? I don't want to do this. This is going to be good for you, though. For who? For you. It's going to be good for Baloney. you. Baloney. You guys are just making me do this so you can get a good laugh. I need I need some fun in my life today. I'm going to keep that door shut. I think I just shit myself. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that was fast. Oh my gosh. You didn't feed it though. It didn't take you the roaches right there. I'm not opening it back up. Here you go. Dude, I'll switch. Here, I'll take the camera. It's gonna kick here. Look at how gentle it took it, Mike. What'd you, what'd you make it so mad for? That's baloney. Oh, so gentle. You saw what it did. Yeah, we all screamed a little bit, you know? You made it mad. Look at it. It's, it's so nice. You can really see that the white monitor is looking around. Those long tongue flicks are telling me that it's very curious. It's actually searching for something. It can smell the food and it's very interested. I wonder if it's just going to go up to it and eat it here. And when we come back, it'll actually be gone. Maybe it's just a little bit too shy to be fed by Tom. Bad time to tell you I've never held Beetlejuice. Yeah, it might not be the right time. Better feed him right on top of your head. Come on, Beetlejuice. Come on, boy. All right, turn around this way. This way. Back in your cage, Beetlejuice. Oh! Wow. There you go, buddy. Good job, Mike. There you go. Easy. <laughs> it's not really good to sit on bad vibes. I'm gonna start on some good ones. <laughs> He's so flipping cute. Open. Oh. You're really just trying to bite my fingers. I can tell. Yeah, see? I know you. I know you better than you think you do. I know you better than you thought you knew you better than you. I thought you knew. There you go. Wow. <laughs> it's just so he's just like... Can you see it? Yeah. Oh my god. You're such a little monster. Okay, you can redeem yourself by either feeding the green bottle blue or getting the molt out of our Goody Sapphire. Which would you prefer? I think I'll just feed that. Yeah? Why'd you open the door? Uh, no. It's okay. I, there's a glare though. It's really affecting the camera angle. <laughs> He's either gonna not be hungry or be hungry. That's the only options. Yeah, well, there's only two options. Ooh, I got it. I think she was hungry. I think she was hungry. Good job, yeah. Mike. See, Mike, you redeemed yourself. Now get the goody sapphire. No, no, no. You can get the, the mold out. Bruce! And you can see it's actually taking it right now. Take a look at guys. 
It's amazing. And it took it down. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely wonderful. Again, it was probably just a little bit freaked out by me being in the cage and handing it to It took its first meal. That is the best news ever. You know, once an animal like this starts to take food, we can actually start to interact with it. So the first idea is to get food into it. The second idea, of course, is going to be to get it take off tongs. Then we'll ball train it. But that's such great news. I needed that on a day like today. Alrighty. There was one time when Bruce actually did this and it got out and it got behind the enclosure. It was definitely not fun. I never, you know I never you lived that It's like an uh, operation, you know? And <laughs> the coolest thing is obviously is to see the fangs. Look at those fangs. Look at them fangs. Ooh. Ooh. Boy. Yeah. I don't know who's got bigger fangs, her or even that small tree. Yeah, but this is the worst bite. Like, you can even see that. See the little green right here? Yeah. So when they get, like, when they actually do posture, that green will reflect the light. And it looks like, it looks like, like a taller bug. It's actually really cool. Oh. Interesting. You want something new every day? You yeah. know what I learned? I'm never feeding that bird eater anymore. The cootie sapphires are one of the most beautiful tranches on the entire planet. Right after a molt. Holy cow, does this animal look incredible. Look at how beautiful she is. But boy, she can pack a punch. You don't want to get bit by that. All right, I just got back with work. Mike over here. What'd you say? Typical Mike. Always thinking about eating. I don't feed him. Let's do some game. Unlock this. Just like your dad. And my daddy. Well, that was a close one. You want a bacon, egg, and cheese? Oh, they would do want it. It's mine. Come on. Oh! That one's close. Whoa. They all got tails coming out of their mouth. It's reverse uh, engineering. Yeah. You want to throw it to him? I think he'll get it. Yeah, he'll catch it. <laughs> that was radical. Actually, it was mousical. That was insane. Not exactly how I wanted that to go down, but you know what? No, nothing ever works exactly how you plan it. Come on. I knew it as soon as I dropped it. I was like, well, oh, can't go for that one. I should have worn my steel toed boots. There you go. <laughs> you said Erwin was trying to bite Kush's tail? Be lashing out of that, if imagine turning around and be like, oh, I didn't do that. That wasn't a superworm. <laughs> I don't think he'll turn around and try and attack it. He'll just be like, there's something on my tail! Yeah, everyone looks I like a flag in the just wind. Like, just flapping behind him like, ah! It's not like nothing. Spider molt is disintegrating now. <laughs> he literally belly wiped it across yeah. the whole wall. <laughs> R.I.P. What's left? Oh, look, there's still a thing in there. Who's this? Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. I definitely needed this on a day like today. After starting the day kind of on the rough side, it's always awesome to feed these animals. Just cheer myself up. So ending my day after starting it kind of difficult with these animals always cheers me up. And speaking of ending, this video has ended. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.